Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Angela Dryden, certified life coach, and I coach ladies who are struggling with codependent behaviors. I love coaching ladies. I love watching them discover that all the trials, the, these codependent behaviors that they've been holding on for years, that all those behaviors actually have made rich soil under their feet. They have broken through things that they didn't think they could do, and yet they didn't really stop and see it. They didn't see their own growth because they were too busy trying to just survive. What I love to do is help women see that, see that for themselves, see that they are stronger than what they think they are. And not stronger in the sense that I'm strong, I can take care of myself, but stronger in the sense that I know my value. And I don't, and it's okay if you do not agree with me. It's okay if you see me for less than what I am because I know that I am worthy and I am valuable just the way I am. They don't have to prove a thing. They don't have to excuse themselves out of anything and they don't have to justify their actions because when they show up, it's with love, with dignity and self-respect and with compassion for everybody involved. Those are leading lady behaviors those are ways in which I help women to show up so that there isn't a sense of pride, a sense of I'm better than, a sense of I deserve. Because when you are creating that kind of energy in your life, you're creating it from a sense of lacking. So you think you don't have anything. So you have to prove it. You have to justify. But when you show up in relationships as a leading lady and you know you have everything you need, you come from a sense of abundance, abundance thinking. You know that there's more than enough for everybody. You know that this life is not a race. And you are willing to get dirty and do what you need to do to perceive things in your relationships that you weren't willing to see before. And now you're willing to get it done. You're willing to see it. You're willing to stand back and listen to your partner, listen to your children, listen to your parents, and not try to change their mind. So I coach these things because they've changed my life. I coach these things because they matter to me. And when I show up in the world with the energy that there is enough for everybody, it's such a good feeling. And I wanna show women that that is possible, that you are not lacking You do not need to be completed, right? So have you ever heard the saying, right? Um, It was made popular from Jerry Maguire, you know, when he went in the end and he said, you complete me. I think that's beautiful in the story, but I want to talk about reality. I'm not looking for my partner to complete me. I'm looking for my partner to compliment me because together, we see things differently. And because we see things differently, you know, since we see things differently, we can learn from each other if we are willing and open to listen. If we're so quick to think that they're judging, that they have some kind of agenda in which they're saying to us, which is interesting, sometimes they might. But if you can show up and you can be present and listen to them and really hear what they're saying and just see where you can see truth in what they're saying, your life will change. I guarantee it. So if you're ready for this, 
if you're ready to grow in the soil that you've already made underneath your feet, right? We've all been through the shit. That's what I'm talking about. The codependent behaviors, the things that we've done over the years, and they've turned into habits, and we just do it. It's just automatic. We don't question it because it's kept us alive and we've been able to survive through it. Well, I want to help show you that as you strive to make changes in your life, you will begin to not just strive, but thrive. Now, thrive is not based on success or money value. Thriving is showing up in your life, knowing that there's always going to be good and bad and that you're ready for it. And you're saying, bring it on. I'm prepared. Let's do this. That is what thriving is. Thriving is not ignoring the fact that you're going to have pain, that you're going to be uncomfortable, and that you are going to be vulnerable. You know those things, but you do it anyways, and you do it out of a sense that you have compassion for yourself and for others, and you know your value and your worth. So generating those kinds of feelings, that kind of emotion, that kind of energy, because right, emotions are in motion. It is energy in your body. When we have emotions and feelings, that's motion happening. It's the energy that we give off to people in our lives. And when you can get really clear and you can be clean in your thinking, And clean in the sense, not that you are pure, but clean in the sense that you understand that there's good and bad and you're doing your best and you love every minute of it. So when it comes to relationships, I love relationships. I love to look at relationships. I love to kind of explore my own relationships that I have with my husband and my children. And I want to get better at it. Because when I'm better at those relationships in my life, the relationship with my parents, the relationship with my children and with my husband, I show up as a better employee. I show up as a better coach. And I show up as a better friend. And then I gravitate to people that are looking to pursue that in their life as well. And then abundance, because I'm coming from a sense of abundance, I don't have to prove, I don't have to justify, I already know that I am. Since I'm coming from a place of abundance, I create abundance in my life. It's when we're graspy. It's when we want to hold on, when we're not ready to let go. And what I do is I help create a space so women can let go and they can be vulnerable and they can see their side in the equation and they can stop turning on everybody else and start to look at themselves and look at themselves in a way with compassion and with love and with trust in themselves because they know that they can do this and they're strong enough. And like I said, You have all these codependent behaviors and you've created the soil underneath your feet. All you need to do is view it and grow. All right, ladies, if you are ready to be coached by me, I would love to coach you. I'd love to show you your potential. I want to see, show you your own thinking. I want to show you what you can do and that there is more to you than what you think. And by doing so, it's going to multiply your life in so many different ways you won't even, you wouldn't even imagine. So when you're ready, make sure to come to my website and um, get going. Let's get a coach session going. Let's do a one-to-one free consultation. Find out if my coaching style is what's going to work for you. If it resonates with you, if it makes sense to you. If you are like, okay, this is, oh, it's going to kind of hurt. I want to do this. I'm ready for this. I'm tired of the hamster wheel. I'm ready to grow. Then I'm your coach. Take care. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.